it No gunshots, but they getting Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here, back again with another video, and today, we are back on Clover Creek. I've been uh, playing some here today, <clears throat> so we're going to go ahead and we're going to get uh, get things going. Um, we'll load this course up, this one we can move and then we can move our course as well okay and let this guy get started up uh, what on earth are you doing must be running his course we got the truck here so I have done some combining and I'll also show you one other thing that I did. Uh, and then we've got the gravity wagon is full here. And then we've got some on the truck as well. Yeah, the grain cart must be running his course. Um, so this is a different version of the New Holland TR-99. Uh, and then I also have a TR-98 and then a corn header for this. Uh, which is at the dealership right now but uh, yeah this one you know they added different rear tires and then uh, edited the spout a little bit and did a couple other things I think uh, it still doesn't work with a hired worker but that's okay I feel like combining anyways and I figured out a way to get uh, that grain cart to work with course place so so we've been combining and then we got the uh, in-game case IH Terraflex uh, 3020 uh, this is the 31 foot head I believe which is like right at the max for this uh, he's just waiting okay uh, which is like right at the max size for this combine um, but yeah so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get combining here and we'll keep going so what I did is I uh, sold Sold the other combine, sold the headers for it, and then I bought uh, this one, this header, and then the corn header. Uh, it's an edit of, I believe, this header. Uh, ah, in order. Uh, it's an edit of this header, I believe. Uh, it's you can see that right here. It's New Holland 996 header now, so uh, that is staying at the dealership. We'll go pick that up after wheat harvest is done. Uh, so in this video, we'll just kind of keep combining, and then uh, tomorrow we'll be back on here. I think I'll do some more combining off camera, and then get it to where you know we're like almost finished with this field. And then, uh, <clears throat> and then the video tomorrow, we will be, uh, you know, finishing off the wheat, getting things going with corn as well then. So, see so yeah, once all the harvest is complete, uh, we'll go through and, well, we'll fast forward time one growth stage so that uh, the lime over in the alfalfa field uh, has time to you know do its magic I'll say um, you know time to work through and then we'll go through and we'll spread all of the fields again and then um, we'll get that uh, you know then let that sit then that should get our pH up into the six area uh, because if you remember uh, these fields were at 5.4 uh, prior to when I first started playing this save game uh, and spread lime on all the fields and so that bumped it up 0.4 so if we spread and then don't you know if you don't cultivate it only goes 0.4 uh, if you cultivate it goes up like 1.4 or something like that you know it goes up a lot if you cultivate and at this point you know going up that much it would be way too much so you know if we spread and just let it sit 
for a growth stage or a, you know a soil mod stage then um, then it'll go up to like 6.2 or something and then that's like right where we want it so then we'll just have to go through and put down some NPK and some water or you know hope for rain one of the two and then we'll be set for next season Uh, and we're going to do, um, we'll stop the combine here. Uh, we're going to do field 31 as oats, 30 as soybeans, 39 as um, rye, 37 as sunflowers, and let's see, oats. Let's see, we're going to do oats, soybeans, let's see here. We're going to do oats. Soybeans, sunflowers, sorghum, and rye. So we'll do field 39 in rye, 35 in oats, 37 will be sorghum, 31 soybeans, and 30. Um, 30 will be sunflowers. There we go. Uh, and I'll, you know, I have a Google Sheets document started for uh, this save game. So I'll enter all that info in there and then can put down, you know, what we all need to do and what herbicides we need, what fields we're going to be planting and what and <clears throat> all that good stuff. So Let's see, over 75% full, we should be able to make it a all the way to the end, I would think. I'm hoping. We'll uh, hope for the best, I guess. I do have the grain cart set. Uh, he won't go until like 90% or something. 95 maybe. Anywhere from 85 to 95% uh, in for the combine, so... should be able to make it all the way I hope if not uh, we'll just turn off and let the grain cart come and load us uh, at a standstill uh, maybe we're not going to make it because we still got a little ways to go yeah I don't think we'll make it so we'll just fill the combine and we'll just go like this. Request driver, stop driver. And then uh, then he can chill out there until we're 100% and then we'll unload. If we do make it, it's going to be just barely, but... No, we're definitely not. We're 95% already. So, we'll end up filling. We'll have to back up. And just let him, uh, let him unload us at a standstill. Alright, we're not even that far from the end. That sucks. So Okay, we'll just turn around here just like this and then we can tell him to come over there and unload us. Shut off the soil mod thing there. Whoa, just about to run us over. OK, 
Okay, so this guy is going to end up filling uh, before the combine empties. So then you can find out uh, if he's going to work correctly or not. Uh, it should unload itself into the truck, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Because this is just set up in... Oops. In, um... It's set in... Totally lost my train of thought. Oh, wow. Okay, drive now. Um, it's set for... Empty combine and unload trailer or something like that. It's not set up as an overloader because it doesn't work in that mode. So I'm hoping that this thing will work still. Got a little bit of straw there. Let's bring this up. You are not in traffic. At all. Good, he is going to stop. Okay. So then what we can do is we can get this guy set up on course play as well. Uh, because I have a feeling it's going to be either full or pretty close to full. Pretty close to full. Nope, full. Good. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and tarp the truck. And then we will roll out here. That guy just sits there until we tell him to leave, I think. Not until he empties one of the two. We'll find out, I guess. Make sure that we go by the fuel trigger. So we don't have an auger tractor, but... That's alright. unload that first. So we can bring this up so then we can see our amounts. Wow, the multi-fruits are quite expensive. Quite, uh, quite profitable. That's for sure. So in here we got our unload auger. Whoa, we can actually go in the bin. <laughs> okay. Oh, yep, there we go. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. You know what? We'll just put a waiting point, wait point, waypoint there just for the heck of it. Just to ensure that he's going to stay there. We're up at 61,000 liters now. So we'll try and avoid uh, the trigger for that. So he doesn't want to try and fill up. Although, he is going to be set to just load at start. So, he shouldn't. Shouldn't be in the keyword. Shouldn't try and fill. But, uh, you never know. So, this is green transport. Drive. This guy should just stop. No, he is not going to. Okay, maybe he just wants to drive his course. Let's let him do that, I guess. So we'll wait for that guy to go past, and then we'll get this guy to arrive in again. Alright. Uh, we'll just ride along with this truck to make sure that he's going to play nicely. Let's see, 
It's all... It's all in the truck, I think. Tip trigger reached. Yes. So really, we didn't need that, but at waypoint, <clears throat> that's okay. Okay, now play nicely, please. Always have that on. Yeah. And it's not going to. Okay, well, you can just sit there, I guess, then. And we, on the other hand, will continue harvest. It definitely sucks that that does not work with, uh, with course play, but, or doesn't want to play nicely with course play, I guess. It's kind of working, but it should work a whole lot better than that, that's for sure. I'm definitely enjoying this combine. This thing is very nice. Neat to have something different and older for once. Let's see. Boy, there's still a lot of field left. It's the only bad thing about going smaller is, you know, like these big fields. It takes a while, lot longer to combine but oh well it's nicer just need to go old school The interior on this thing is definitely a little dark, but I would have done like a kind of tan interior or something, something that it's not like you're in a black hole when you're in the cab or something. And you can kind of see like your controls and stuff a little more too. But still pretty, uh, pretty nice.
So me doing combining, I'm sure will definitely please all of you people that uh, enjoy the first cab, the first person view in cab comb or plane. Um, I definitely like to be in cab more when I combine, especially if I have a header that I can see the ends and I can tell you know where the edge of the crop is at. Like this header, you know, I can tell how far over I need to be. So that's definitely, uh, definitely makes this nice. And with corn, it's usually, uh, even easier. Just line yourself up with a row and follow it. But definitely knocking this field out, getting it, uh, getting it done. We're getting close to having this bottom end uh, cut out. A few more passes and everything will come to a point on that side. So once we get turned around here we'll signal over our uh, grain cart driver. Get the auger out. It's definitely annoying that the decals don't have dirt on them. And that this thing doesn't have a little more dirt to it. But. Oh well. Nothing's perfect, I guess. As you can see, we're kind of clipping through the duels there. Could probably just take them off, but... Yeah, this header is, you know, if it was just, like, two feet smaller, even, we'd be set. But it's either, you know, this one, the 31 foot, or, like, 18 foot, which is, like, too small for this. It's, you know, the in-game New Holland header, the small one, is smaller than the header that we were using before so it's kind of kind of sucks in that perspective still unloading all right this guy wants to follow us up a ways right ahead there he's gonna stop Don't. Oh, it's just moving over a little bit. I say, shouldn't be driving anywhere yet. It 
So yeah, today's video will actually be on time. <laughs> Unlike the past few days where it's been uh, a lot later than usual. So yeah, in yesterday's video, I uh, mentioned uh, you know what people thought about keeping the webcam or you know getting rid of the webcam, and uh, all of the comments regarding it all said uh, keep it except for one, and then uh, I also said you know if you guys want to see more. Sorry, I was trying to read that message. Um, uh, about potatoes. Uh, if I should just finish the potatoes. Uh, okay. Sorry, I just uh, was talking to a guy. Sent him a message yesterday. Uh seeing if he was able to help me with uh, animated doors so he just replied but um yeah and asking you know, if I should finish the potatoes uh you know off camera and then the next video on Oregon Springs just be starting sugar beets or uh, if I should you know keep potato videos coming or what and I got one comment saying yeah keep doing them so I think what I might do is just like do one long video, um, you know, one long time lapsed video of the entire potato harvest being finished. I think that's what I might do. But I'm not sure yet. But if I do that, it won't be up until, you know, later on. Because <clears throat> it'll take a few days to finish up that uh finish up the potato harvest so i think i'm probably gonna just do like a lot more videos here on clover creek Yeah, we've got maybe two more passes and then we'll start coming to angles. So yeah, we're rolling along. One about 30 feet or so a pass. Of course, I'm not always you know, right up against it. Uh, with the edge of the header, so. Our timer should be going off here pretty soon. <laughs> yes, it is. Alright, uh, so guys, that'll do it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Make sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Uh, make sure to turn on the post notifications if to be notified every time I upload a new video. Check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, 
as well as links to my social medias, my mod site, and other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching, you guys, and we'll see you